is a North Star home video release. It's dark in here. I wonder what that thumping is. I can't wait to meet my parents. Ow! I wonder who the guy with the big nostrils is. Hope it's not Dad. Oh, shit. Maybe it's Mom. Oh. Nope. There they are. Hello. Hi there. Here I am, over here. Hi. Ah, oh, they're overcome with joy. I think it's joy. Ooh, someone must have popped an ugly one. I wonder who. Oh. Maybe they wanted a girl. Oh, wow. It's my sister. Oh. Mom and Pop didn't waste any time at all introducing me to my Uncle Bill. And he was absolutely delighted to see me. Oh, hi, sis. A basket! Hey, hey, hey come, come back! You, you forgot... He seemed like a nice guy, so I decided to introduce myself. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Over the years, my cuteness faded, and the parties became less popular. Uncle Bill's friends were disappearing about as fast as his hair. Soon he would be a lonely, bald man. But Uncle Bill, I don't want to deliver the paper. I want to write for the paper. You got to have brains to be a reporter, Bo. And I know there's nobody home. Watch this. I wanted to get into the newspaper business, and Uncle Bill encouraged me. We got along fine with a few minor setbacks. What the? Life really began to change for me when Uncle Bill bought the TV station. If I played my cards right, I knew he'd find a slot for me somewhere. The news caused quite a sensation. It was one small step for Uncle Bill. He was on his way up. Look, I told you, loudmouth, no this comment! Mr. Bill Billings, the new owner of our station, PSTV. That's WBTV. So you all work for me now and get back to work! <laughs> Great news, Uncle Bill. So I guess now I'll be a... Reporter for sure. Uncle Bill was really very sweet about it. I mean, he helped me pack and saw me off and he even lent me his best suitcases. Uh-huh. He took it quite well. Maybe I should have apologized. Or maybe I should have groveled. Maybe I should have told him about the turkey in the oven. Nah, he'll find it. Holy shit! <laughs> I'll kill him! A couple of months passed. Life on my own. A bachelor pad, chicks everywhere, and swinging parties. I didn't know it then, but my life was about to be turned upside down. It was a Wednesday. No, it was a Tuesday. Garbage day. For $500 and a chance to go shopping in prize heaven, answer this question. 
How many plagues did God send down on Egypt? Seven. Seven! Seven! Seven. Praise the Lord. That's right. <laughs> this is the kind of show your station needs. Look at this. A new fall line up. Uh, the, the, the God show. Uh, bowling for Jesus. Look, look, look. The, the littlest sinner. A wonderful children's show. Yeah, well, Reverend Willis, you already have a show on this station. At three o'clock in the morning? Who stays up that late? God knows what kind of perverts I'm converting. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so good to see you. It is, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reverend Willis, this is Bo Big. He's one of the top reporters on our news team. No, I'm not. I'm Ow. such a kidder. You know, we have to have that meeting about that news story you've been assigned. I've got a story? That's great. I figured after that fire in the studio, you'd never let me be a reporter. Headache, sir? Oh, I can fix that. Lose Satan! Uh, oh, oh, Reverend, would you like a donut? This man is cured. And remember, Jesus does like you. What are you doing here, Bo? I don't know, sir. That's what I was afraid of. So what's that big story you want me to cover? And don't be an asshole, Bo. Oh, right. I thought you sounded desperate. So I guess this means I'm not a reporter, huh? God knows what you are, Bo, but you're not a reporter. I'll be getting back to work now, sir. I appreciate the warning. Good morning, Bob. It's Bo. First, I want you to update my scrapbook. Then pick up my tuxedo at the cleaners and put together that resume for me. And Bob, make me three copies of the Von Reich interview and I'll see you on the waterfront in the afternoon. That's a great disguise, Mr. Roberts. Why don't you use a megaphone? They didn't hear you over on the other pier. All right, you're undercover. Don't worry. Wait a minute, you're not Mr. Roberts. What's that? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Garfunkel. There's not much time, Bob. It's Bo. Bo, whatever. Get a camera and meet me at Warehouse 86 tonight, 10 o'clock. You want me to be your cameraman? Just don't be late. I've got something that will blow the lid off the Valenta story tonight. You can count on me, sir. Fair Is that enough. a real beer? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, God, I'm sorry, sir. So we got to get out of here before we're spotted. Right. Oh. Uh, see you later, Mr. Garfunkel. Robert, are you ready to talk? Hmm? No. <laughs> Wrong answer. It tears upon me. I must heal. Bring it to me. You are cured. Yes, yes, Your Worship. He's out on my front lawn now, hitting cripples. Piss off. Not, not, not you, sir. No, no, sir. Mm. 
I'm sorry Reverend Willis has given you so much trouble, Uncle Bill. I told you never to call me that. Right. I don't know what got into me. Sorry, sir. Ah. What do you want, Bo? I need a camera for tonight. The last camera I gave you exploded, Bo. It was only a small explosion, sir. And besides, this one's for Eric Roberts. He's onto something he figures will blow the lid right off the Valenta case. Eric Roberts, what a prima donna. One day the old farts is broken down reporter, then he gets one good story and all of a sudden it's Eric Roberts wants this. Eric Roberts wants that. <laughs> yeah, well, I fixed him. He wanted a personal assistant. I gave him you, little shit for brains. And I appreciate that, sir. Can I have the camera? Yes, you can have the camera. If you promise not to kill it. Maybe in spite of himself, Uncle Bill had given me the break I needed, an assignment with Eric Roberts. I felt sharp, alert. <laughs> Being a reporter wasn't so tough. I could taste the big time. My own office, my name on the door, a nice suit, a city to save. We have a news flash. Bull Baker uncovers scandal at City Hall. The President of the United States has declared April 1st as Bo Baker Day. Take Bo Baker to brunch on April 1st. Extra, extra, read all about it. Baker couple City Hall. The dream ended on a wet note. Valenta's party was going to start without me. Get your troubles and go have a good time. Come on. Pleasure. Guys, looking good. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ah. Oh, yeah, of course, right. Uh, you go, guys, stupid of me. Now, this is a private function. Listen, primates, I happen to have a very important message for Mr. Frank Valenta. Huh? And I wouldn't want to be wearing your shoes if I don't get through with this message. What's going on out here? Oh, the kid says he has a message for you, Mr. Valenta. Mr. Valenta. What's the message, kid? Message. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Please don't kill me. Please. Trash. It's okay. I can walk. Roberts was right. Something big was going down. The place was more popular than crazy glue in a leper colony. I want you to meet a very good friend of mine, Doug Kruger. Oh, Mr. Kruger. A pleasure. Mr. Mayor. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, very much. <laughs> good. good. Winner, seven. Yeah. <laughs> the lady wins again, seven. Winner, seven. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seven, all right. to show the tape to Uncle Bill. Boy, would he be excited. Looks like a Jacques Cousteau underwater special. Yes, sir, but I, I did get a few clear shots of some things, though. Oh, 
what does a seizure feel like? Roberts didn't show up, sir. Oh, yeah. I got a telegram from Roberts. He's gone to New York to try out for that anchor job. You've driven my star away. But, sir, I saw the casino. I saw the mayor's bus. Those people tried to kill me. It's too late to cheer me up, Bo. I don't know what happened, sir. I do. Genetics. Genetics. I remember your uncle, Max. Once he recited a poem about Moses in the burning bush. Then he set his chest hairs on fire. You remind me of him, Bo. He was a sick man. Very sick. So I guess this means I'm fired, right? No. No, you're not fired. I got something much better planned for you. Come by here first thing in the morning, right after you dropped off the camera. It was a minor setback, to be sure, but I wasn't about to let anything distract me from following up the Valenta case. There! All finished, Mr. Baker. Thanks, kid. Oh, gosh, you don't have to give me anything. Boy, Mr. Baker, you sure have a Tough job, huh? Being defender of the people and guardian of truth and all? I tell you, kid, it's a curse. I like you, kid. Keep up the good work. You'll go far in the newspaper game. me to the Helmi von Reich estate, the Red Butcher's son. Helmi was well known locally as a certifiable lunatic. Wiedersehen, Chubby! Did you see that? He moved. Of course he did, sir. There's a blind oriental gentleman and a greasy little wop here to see you, sir.
gentlemen. Herr von Reich, this is Dr. Hop Singh. Ah, Mr. Melinda. So what do you think about my trophies? I prefer a live game. A moving target. More of a challenge. But then... Dr. Hop Singh and I have been hired to act as shipping agents. It'll be our job to get the package safely into the country. And when does this package supposedly arrive? Thursday night at my loading pier. So long as it's after nine, that is, and that Bruno comes to give me a massage, I never miss a massage. I'm a pretty little Dutch girl. As pretty as can be, 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 and all the boys in my hometown go crazy over me. Things were getting weird. I was missing something. Eric Roberts' apartment would be the place to find it. I decided to investigate. Skiing. No big deal. Just skiing. kicked with my balls. The police suggest I have you put to sleep. Sir, it's not how it sounds. You broke into Eric Roberts' apartment. You ransacked the place. Okay, so it is how it sounds. Sir, you've got to get me out of here. Oh, I don't know, Bo. You know, actually, I've fantasized about seeing you in a place like this. You have made me very happy. And that's rare. The bail is only $500. Now, now let me get that straight. You mean, if I don't pay them the money, then they have to keep you in here? <laughs> oh, this just gets better and better. Uncle Bill, you wouldn't! No, but I can dream, can't I? Five hundred dollars, eh? No, that's not so bad. Plus, uh, a few overdue parking tickets. How many overdue parking tickets? Four hundred and twelve? Jesus. Where's to Eric Roberts now, this? It hasn't been a good day, Bo. What about Eric Roberts? Oh, he's dead. Dead? Yes, they found his body washed up on a beach in Seattle. Seattle? Well, part of him. They found the other part in Vancouver, San Francisco, San Diego. Port so America. he was murdered? Either that or he committed suicide with a chainsaw. Uh, Bo, I want you to keep up your investigation on Frank Valenta. I... Find out whatever it was Roberts discovered. But he was killed doing that. Oh, jail can be hell. I want you to have this. Oh, for God's sake, will you please shut that man up? Thank you, sir. My uncle. Robert's death proved that he was into something deep, deeper than I wanted to be. Uncle Bill had bought a life insurance policy for me, and he was the beneficiary. He told me to get the story, 
and take chances. Lots of chances. casino. Ah. Oh, that tape. Oh. Ah. Dr. Hopsing, it seems our young friend has lost the ability to speak. I'm afraid you'll have to operate. Oh. He's going to hurt you. this young man? If I cut you there, you will spend the rest of your life like a vegetable. Or if I am in a good mood, cut here and merely kill you. Last time, where is the tape? Let's get out of here. Wait a minute, what are you doing Never here? Never mind that now. If they come to and catch us, we're both dead. What is this? It's my car. Get in. You're kidding? We'll take mine. Okay. It's a good car. You get used to it. It, it grows on you. That's a boat, right? I can't go on those. You are a reporter. Yes. Bo, if you want me to give you the biggest news story of the century, you will get on this boat now. Oh. I had no choice. I had to talk to her. We both had a lot of questions that needed answering. Have you finished throwing up yet? I wouldn't go in swimming for a few days. Here, have a drink. Oh. Wow. It was a gift from Frank Valentis so we could meet in private. 
So I guess, uh, you and Valenta, you're uh, mistress. Uh, yeah. I can say it. Oh yeah. You're Frank Valenta's mistress. But you hate him and you want to destroy him. Terry, there is something seriously wrong with your relationship. Look, I want to see him and his whole dirty empire exposed and shut down. You must have some sense of justice. Who gives a shit about justice? I'm talking about publicity. Don't you get it? If I can put Frank in jail, the story will be worth millions. I'm talking books, movie rights, television. The sky's the limit. I could even be a talk show hostess. You don't have a sister, do you? A twin sister? One that's Valenta is smuggling Nicholas von Reich into Vancouver. Nicholas von Reich? The Red Butcher of Poland himself. That blonde guy who tried to kill you is von Reich's bodyguard. His name is Dorian Kruger. He hired Valenta to set this whole thing up. This package arrives Thursday. Terry, they're bringing Von Reich in on Thursday, Valenta's loading pier. Bo, that's it! If we can catch them red-handed, we'll be set for life. Reverend Willis, what are you doing in Uncle Bill's office? It's my office now, young man. In fact, this is my TV station. You'll be getting your final check in the mail. Sorry you lost the station, Uncle Bill. Mm. Damn. I bet you Valenta was behind this. We were getting too close, so he gave Willis the money to buy you out. It's not fair. Would you like to know what the secret of life is, Paul? It's bills. Little, tiny bills. And martinis. Lots of martinis. Very important. And that is the secret of life. I'll remember that, sir. But, Bo? <sighs> After tonight, if I ever see you again, I'll tie you to the back of my car and go for a long, long drive. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did you really think I'd let that two-bit bimbo play me for a sucker? Me? No, Frank, you got it all wrong. I thought... Lying bitch. Uh, you and that dumb kid were going to set me up for a fall. No. And well, you can forget it, baby. I shut down the kid and his stinking TV station. And now I'm going to shut you down. Permanently. Do it slow, and do it messy. <laughs> I 
think I will start on her face. <laughs> Hold her. should have more class than to come back here begging. I should have known I couldn't run from you. Frank would kill me if he knew, but I can't help myself. You've spoiled me for anyone else. You're only human. I try and force you out of my mind, but it's hopeless. All I have to do is think about the way you touch me. Like this? Yes, and the way you look at me. Like this? Yes, oh God, I could rip the shirt off your back. Like this? Kiss me, Bo. Kiss me. Okay, but don't expect treats like this every day. Bo, snap out of it. You've got to sober up. Snap out of it. Sober up. Oh. Look at you. You're disgusting. I spend the whole night trying to stay alive and you pour yourself into a bottle. Oh, oh. Valenta was killed. She like dogs. What does that have to do with anything? Get your sip on with that bottle down there. Something has gone wrong. Dorian killed Valenta. Bo. Bo, we've got to get to the docks tonight. Oh, good. He's just stunned. He's staggering out a little bit, but I think he's going to be just fine. You mark my word for that. Oh. Sober up, Bo. You've got to listen to me. I can't. I'm pissed. I still don't know what this is about, do you, Bo? I'm not even close. The Von Reich treasure. Never heard of it. Von Reich saw the end coming. 
So he broke into the Nazi treasure vaults. Whatever he got, he brought it to Canada with him. He had to run to South America in a hurry, and he left the treasure here with his son. How do you know all this? Read the National Enquirer. Don't you see, Bo? Von Reich is coming back for his treasure. If we can catch him. Think of the story we'll have. We could sell it for a fortune. No, these massages are taking longer than you expected. You sound nervous. Oh, in case you haven't noticed, a lot of the people involved with this case are winding up seriously dead. Oh, if this works, we'll be in the big time. Who cares about the big time? I'm worried about staying alive. I can't help it. I've grown very accustomed to breathing. What about me? I've grown pretty accustomed to you, too. The feeling's mutual. Please be careful. My son, I've waited for this for a long time. So have I. You will never take the treasure away from me, you fool! Fine! Kill him! Oh, don't let them get the treasure! Please! No, I can't wait, Julie! I didn't startle you, but I got here quicker than I expected. Traffic was very light tonight. Let's talk about this, Baker. Oh, what is it you want to talk about? About a kind of guy who would turn around and shoot his partners in the back? You know, Baker. Tell me, what do you suppose is going to happen to the first guy through that door? What do you say we find out? Baker, please, please don't make me do this. What's the matter, Dorian? Waiting for me to count three like they do in the big sleep? No, please. Okay. That's one, Dorian. That's two, Dorian. Don't shoot! It's me! Eight, eleven, fourteen. Maybe a Swiss bank account. Hello, 
this is Eric Roberts' answering machine. I'm not here right We're now. We're running around, Bo. Terry? You're, you're alive. I'll explain later. There's no time for that now. How did you get away from Farm Rake and his goon? I didn't, Bo. I'm with them right now. Hang on, Terry. I'll save you. That won't be necessary, Bo. I'm among friends here. Friends? We want the swastika Helmy gave you at the pier. We want you to bring it to the mansion, and we want it right away. What's all this we stuff? Like the old saying goes, if you can't beat him, join him. Terry, the man is a war criminal. He also happens to be my new partner. Besides, he was only following orders. Forget it. What makes you think I'm just going to waltz over there and hand over this hunk of jewelry? We thought you might say that, Bo, so uh, we've kidnapped your uncle. You did what? If you heard Uncle Bill... Come right away, Bo. We'll be waiting. Your life is now in the hands of your nephew. Hmm? Wait! Wait! Oh. Stop rolling! Stop rolling! Stop! Whoa! Whoa! Heal! If they thought I was going to blunder into their trap, they had another thing coming. I took the servant's entrance. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I go now? Yeah. It's a plane is ready. Could I use your phone? Yes. Mm -hmm. As a rectal thermometer. Now. Now we wait for our young friend to show up. Take him for a short trip. Do we have to keep him gagged? We don't want him. Warning the boy. Second thoughts? No. I thought maybe if we would... Think of it as pest disposal. What are two insignificant lives compared to our future together? To the future. the main floor? You look downstairs!
He's not here. I wish you'd make up your mind whose side you're on. <laughs> I'm afraid there was never any doubt. Get him up, get him up. Yeah. I guess a nice light snack wasn't good enough for you, baby. Ow! Swastika, please. Beautiful, is it? But all things of beauty have a high price, especially women. I suggest. We adjourn to the games room. Games room. Don't worry, Uncle Bill. I'll get us out of this. I can see you have it all under control. my dear. Lighten up. I'm six, top corner. Fourteen corner. Two side pocket. Eleven corner. Three corner. Twelve in the side. Eight ball. It's a center. That's all I needed to know. Liebchen. You're bluffing. Who's next? Please, please. Let's be reasonable. Drop the gun. I won't tell you again. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. Nice try, kid. For God's who cut on to what you were up to, so you took him out with a 38 slug. Then lefty and fingers were gonna blow the whistle, so you had them rubbed out too. All right. Then the blind man, he got in the way. So you stabbed him 16 times with an ice pick, made it look like a boating accident. All right already. You hear that? They're coming for you. That's an ugly ring you're wearing, sister. Ah! Drop the gun or I kill him! Oh, no! Ah! Run! Wait, Uncle Bill! Forget him! Well, you'll get lost. Forget it. The treasure's down here. Come on.
Wait. I'll go first. Maybe just two more. <laughs> Thank you for disarming the door for me. You're welcome. I never give real bullets to a beautiful woman. You have had your fun.
get it. Me? Huh. Why me? Nicholas von Reich. You know? Sure. How long did you think you could fool us with that dumb act? Why not? I have fooled the whole world. Can't be. It's Eric Roberts. But why? Why does a television man do anything? Ratings. So what was the real Von Reich going to do? Sue me? But you didn't count on one man knowing the truth. How long has the real Von Reich been dead? Five, six years. One loses track of time in the jungle. Von Reich told you about the treasure before he died. You knew Helmy would never let you have it, so... So you planned to kill him? Not quite. Very astute. But one thing you didn't count on was Helmy getting greedy and trying to kill you. So you decided to kill him? Not quite, but killing Helmy was an unexpected bonus. Very good. You have forgotten one thing. What's that? Now you know I'll have to kill you all. Got this on the plane. Wait a minute. That's not part of the deal. Do as I say. You don't get the jewels until I get my story. You're right. And I'm a man of my word. Please, accept this small token. It's a treasure. <laughs> Don't. Get the briefcase. Yet. 
We still have four minutes left. Well, great. I have time to boil an egg. There it is. What? Up there. There it is. There's what?
Liebchen? Hm? Hm? No, please. No. Uh, no. No. Sorry. No. Money, Bo. Places we could have seen. Look, Terry, I know I'm not the best looking guy in the world. And I'm not really a reporter. I figure my savings account would make a terrific golf score. And you probably haven't noticed this yet, but, but you would eventually. So I'm really sort of a klutz. So if you want to find yourself another rich gangster, I wouldn't blame you. Baker, you are the most exciting man I've ever met. Oh, oh, I'm sure you see. How much do you think we get for Hitler's authentic diary? Oh, you mean? Yeah. I never thought I'd be happy I took 101 German. Oh, to the end, sweetheart, to the end. Well, what do you say we get together and ride your lucky streak? 